moved over to Europe the first time. I was 18. And, uh, you know, I've just gotten used to living by myself. I mean, I've been living on my own since I was 16 years old now to pursue my career. And it's, uh, you know, I've just gotten used to it. It's, it's a sacrifice that I personally have to make to be away from my friends and family. But with that being said, I have uh, some great teammates here that treat me like family almost. Family means a lot to me. My family sacrificed a lot to, in my early years of karting and, and cars to, to get me to, to where I am today. Um, maybe other families might not take the same risks as, as mine has. So it, uh, you know, it's not easy in, in motorsports to make it to, to the top. And yeah, without the help of my family, there's, there's no chance. I love my friends. I love going back to Canada and yeah, spending as much time with them as possible. I like to think that I'm a little bit different than, than some of the other drivers. I mean, I can't, I love motorsports, I love my job, but I can't, you know, breathe, live, sleep it like every day. Um, you know, I like to just kind of just forget about it and be a normal person every now and then. So when I go home to Canada, it's great just to be with my, my friends that, you know, we've been friends since we were eight years old. So, you know, they, they know me as the eight-year-old kid that was the same as them, not, not someone who's a professional race car driver.